Hello. Um, in this video, I will be covering the action research model from the models of HRM. Um, and let's see what the action research model has to say. So this model was developed by Kurt Lewin in the year 1940. And what this um, model is about is essentially about an ongoing and a continuous process that happens in an organization that undertakes or that pertains to this uh, model. So as is very clear in the picture here, there is a continuous process and there is a loop which help helps get the work, work done. Now to start with let's um, take an example um, you first of all you identify the problem what is your aim what is your end goal what is the problem that you're trying to solve because um, what are you going to plan around we have to define the problem or we have to see um, what is the aim for this uh, process that is going to take place now Let's say um, a company uh, has been facing a problem with their um, training. So um, there is a problem and they've identified that the training that is happening is not up to the mark. So what do they do? They plan on how they can best do their training and then after the planning they take the steps of implementation so whatever steps are required to implement um, those uh, plans that were made here are done here so you take action so for example you've planned that the training is not happening because the trainers are not first of all not uh, up to the mark not very well equipped with the knowledge and secondly the training material is not again not up to the mark so you've identified two problems what are you going to do now you have to get better trainers and you have to uh, change the training material now we move on to observe now what does observe mean observe in observe the company will see the um, the results basically so the results are here in the observe step now what do you do with the results you reflect on them you you understand okay so these are the results and this happens when this is not done so if i do not have uh, the training material that is up to mark i will inevitably have a problem with the training process of my company so here the reflection on the whole thing happens on the whole plan happens and here are the results here whatever you've planned is implemented and here is the whole planning so um, two thing two uh, two things first of all um, the whole process of planning acting observing and reflecting and now why is this done um, this is done because um, there is a need for employee productivity or there is a need to fix something now again this is a continuous process and this is a loop and you have to do that again and again for better results and you have to see what is the problem and um, how can you fix this problem is this the reason um, this problem is happening and if it is not the reason you will see that in the result or the observe uh, stage here if that is not the reason that your uh, that of the your problem what is the reason now you have to do the whole whole process all over again because you have to find the reason and until then you cannot stop so this is a loop of a process this is a continuous process for the betterment of the organization for the employee productivity or for the betterment of your employees so this is all that uh, the action research model includes.